everyone and welcome to August and um, before I start I just want to say thank you very much to all the new subscribers and um, all the lovely people who have commented and liked videos and shared them. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. This is quite a new thing for me to be doing, so it's quite small um, at the moment. So I really appreciated that extra boost to begin with. So, um, and I know that some of you are hoping to get readings, so I'm gonna do the draw to get do the free readings thing to see who wins um, in just a minute. Uh, but I just want to say I might not be doing this again immediately, but I am thinking of doing it quite regularly. So we'll see when I get around to doing it again. But um, thank you so much for taking part and please keep commenting and liking and, and um, participating because it all helps and it just keeps that nice flow of reciprocity going, you know, give and take, which is really, really lovely with these things. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to just go straight into this now and just let you know that I had a look at the videos and if you weren't expecting or hoping for reading, you can go past this bit. So. The sign that, did, uh, that gave the most likes was Virgo and the sign that gave the most comments was Libra. So I've picked, I uh, had a look under the videos and there was only one person who asked for a reading under the Virgo uh, video and that's Tara Mills. So there's, you know, it's just you Tara and you've won a reading. So contact me please using, uh, you can use the link under the video and then go to my website and use the contacts page there. And um, so we've got Libras. I've picked the names of the people who asked for readings from Libra. And I'm going to just pick one of those. You can see that. Yeah, okay. Uh, all right, Spirit, you guide me. Okay, here. Right. So we've got, I knew it was going to be that one. That's right. <laughs> It's Sawenika Reed. Okay, so Sawenika, can you please get in touch with me and um, we'll um, sort out a, t uh, a reading. Just get some questions from you. That's all you need to do is to just contact me, let me know it's you, and uh, I'll get some questions from you and record your reading for you. And it will be posted up on the channel soon. Okay, so um, welcome to August, everyone. Uh, July was a very interesting month, <laughs> as they all are at the moment. I hope you enjoy your reading. I'm going to get straight to it now. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hi, lovely Virgo, and welcome to August, the month just before yours, <laughs> just before your, um, before you have all of your uh, fun stuff happening. So the sign before yours, the sun is in Leo, and we've got this full moon, uh, sorry, this new moon, um, lunar eclipse, uh, solar eclipse, sorry. I'm focusing on that new moon because it's all about change, it's all about manifesting, and I want you to go and check out my manifesting video um, I'll put a link to it on this one and use it to start preparing for next month because this is the solar eclipse that is going to make a huge shift. It's the one that all the astrologers are talking about and it's pointing the way to where you need to make a change and it feels more important than ever at the moment that we go with these energies because we're at such a height in our evolution, in our overall planetary shift. So for you, this is gonna be in your 12th house. That's where everything's gonna be happening. And it's gonna be about you having faith, having faith in yourself, faith in the future, faith that it can work out. And because Leo's about love and it's about creativity, you're gonna to need to have faith in your creativity and faith that what you love can actually um, work out for you, that what you love is the thing for you to do and that you can have faith in it, that you can believe in it and you can believe in yourself. The 12th house is also very much about your spiritual understandings, it's about karma, releasing karmic patterns, I've just heard, release, and for you, some of those karmic patterns are going to be about self-belief, some of them are going to be about um, believing that you always have to be um, in a particular position or situation in life. And some of those beliefs, some of those patterns will be about um, just not being true to yourself. Not being true to yourself because you won't allow yourself to be happy 
in that respect, in terms of just saying, right, this is what I love to do and I'm going to do it. You've got, because Leo is on your 12th house cusp, there's something a bit secretive about you enjoying yourself, not wanting to show the world what you really love and who you really are, not even wanting to, to let the world see you having a good time in some respects. I know that sounds ridiculous, but it's time for all of that to change. Okay, and it's time for you to have faith in what it is that you do and that the love you have for what you do um, will be infectious and will be of service to others in a really, really lovely way. So you'll also be finding ways that support you, ways, new spiritual ways, new spiritual um, routines, more practices. Maybe you'll start chanting, maybe you'll start meditating every day, you know, meditating more than you were before. Maybe you'll take up yoga or do something physical because Virgo is very much about the body and you need to um, transform any powerful energies through the body sometimes to help you to ground them, okay? Serious, serious light workers, Virgos are, because you are all about bringing that divine energy onto the earth. But let's see for you personally now what we can do, what we can offer you that will help you to have faith in the future. So you also don't get pulled back. So we've got past, we're doing past, present and future. Don't get pulled back into things that are mundane, okay, because that is a temptation here that there will be work habits, there will be things that you've outgrown, there will be things that you've become used to, or the spark isn't there anymore, or they're just not, they don't fit, or they're just not the complete picture for you anymore. You know, a boring day job, or a routine, some kind of routine, or habit, or either, even um, a way of, of looking after your body, something that's just not serving you anymore, will need to be cut away in order to make way for you to do what you really, really love, and to have faith in it, okay? So that could be one of the changes that happens for you in August. But you're being asked to embrace the new, and really leap into this. Okay, so where you've just come from, you've just come from a place where, you know what you perceive that it says here what you perceive to be your dark side holds your hidden treasure so whatever that means for you Virgo um, it's time for you to see the beauty in it to see the blessing in it so in other words it might be that you don't ever um, take care of yourself or that you don't ever trust yourself or that you've been going around in circles for a while going falling back into associations or situations that don't serve your highest good or a partnership or something like that that isn't necessarily great for you or friendships where you don't allow yourself to receive so what you need to understand about that is that there is a blessing in that because you have, in all of the time that you've been that wonderful person, that you will continue to be, but on a, a higher vibration, in a, on a different level, on an evolution. All of that has allowed you a deep understanding of people, a deep compassion, a deep awareness, but it's also given you a deep awareness of yourself. All of this sifting and sorting has led you, brought you to a place now where you understand who you really are, you understand what you really want. You've also developed a strong connection with spirit because of confusion that you've had or because of not letting people in or and some of the things that you've been through in recent years, because you people don't always understand how acutely sensitive you are, that when you're experiencing things or you're listening to things that are worrying other people or there's any kind of pain around, you feel it right through you. You feel it in your body. It's not ju you're not just hearing something. You're not just sympathising. You're not just feeling, oh, I wish I could help you. Or you're actually experiencing it, and so. What a lot of this um, side of you that's not been able to say no, what that's done, what that's been doing, is it's been teaching you a very sophisticated experience of energy. You know about energy. You can feel good, productive energy, and you can feel energy that is not that great. And to such, such a degree now that you literally can walk into any situation or any conversation or experience and say, right, okay, I've been here two minutes and I already know that this is not going to be good for me. 
And now that you're moving into a phase, next month it's going to be your time to step out into the world with whatever this thing is that you're preparing, this beautiful, wonderful thing that you're doing behind the scenes in this quiet time. When you do that, you're going to have a strength that you never thought you would have. And that strength is not going to be power and might and bravado, because that's not your way. It's going to be deep discernment that will allow you, that will enable you to see and sense and know what's going to work for you bringing your vision, your mission, which is still going to be a deeply loving vision, bringing it to the earth without interruption. Okay? So you have learned to trust yourself. <laughs> Finally, you, that's, that's what this has all been about. It's been about you not questioning or second guessing anymore when you get that weird knot in your stomach or when you feel great to begin with and you, talk, you have a conversation with someone and you end up feeling deflated. All of that stuff you have to trust now, okay? So this is what you've had to learn. That shadowy side, that deeply sensitive side that makes you want to lock yourself away is actually going to reveal itself to be a great gift now because it's going to be your guiding principle. If it doesn't feel good, don't go there. If it feels good, give it a shot, give it a chance until it doesn't feel good anymore. And then tune in, ask yourself, what am I feeling? What does this mean? Where am I going? You know, what's pointing the way? Follow the sun. The sun is shining the way, especially this month. So go deep inside, Virgo, and look for that inner light that matches the brightness of the sun and follow that light. This is going to be your time to come right through out the other side of this tunnel and know exactly who you are why you're here, what you came for, and who's going with you, okay? Who's going with you to, to where you're going on your next steps, okay? And of course, things are gonna change minute to minute, second to second, because you are constantly feeling your way through this life. But just trust yourself now, trust that, and stop the judgment now. It was all meant to be. Okay, so in the present, where are you? Oh yes, so just, okay, so last month it was very much for you about your place in society, your place within friendships, um, groups, whether you were able or not to go out to people. So you will have made some discoveries. Some will have been really nice, pleasant ones about reaching out to people and, and seeing how they respond. And some will have been surprising and not so pleasant, but educational, let's just say. So take all of that information with you and take it all as a blessing. All right, so angel of prayer, ask the universe and the angels for help and guidance. So as you move into this period, this is really just reiterating that this is a time, yes, you are gonna be quite active, you are gonna be doing things. It's not just about you being in a cave preparing everything. You will be out there in the world, but there is a sense that the energy is still in and you're like, it's like you're building and building and building your inner fire, you're building your inner reserves, you're building your focus, your manifestation, all of it, um, in order to, to leap, <laughs> leap ahead next month. But there is a lot of energy because of this eclipse on this house. So don't see this as a nothing house or just that house, that period before my birthday is very, very powerful. So if you start employing some very powerful prayers at this time, you will just leap forward. You also need though, I'm being told to pray for faith and for strength, for faith in your path and for faith that it is going to work out okay, that it's going to be all right, okay? And trust that, trust when you receive the answer, trust when the guidance comes. Pray, pray, pray for help, pray for guidance, pray for signs and you will see them coming. So you're moving into, oh lovely, angel of soul love, time to look at how you value yourself. Um, uh, sorry issues of self-love. Right, okay, so this period that you're coming into, when you come to September, when you come, when you're moving into the future, it's just going to be a much um, a more self-assured time as a result of this inner work that you're doing at the moment. 
You might find that you want to develop some sort of new practice, spiritual practice that supports you in a strong way. It could be something that you've done before. It could be chanting. It could be, um, you know, daily prayer, daily meditation, you know, ramping up your meditation. Um, I think I might have said all of this before. <laughs> right. So sorry about the repetition, but it does seem really important, okay, that you get that support. Um, to move you through into a different chapter so that when you get to September and you really get to present yourself and your ideas, you have that strong sense of self-love, of inner reserves that you've built, not just from wanting it to happen, but from some kind of a practice that gives you that core strength to move forward. Okay. Also, check out my manifesting meditation, which I will link to this video, hopefully, and if I don't, please go and find it. And what you need to be visualizing is yourself going forward in full faith. So visualize yourself doing the thing that you really want to do, that you know that you need faith in order to do, whether it's to make a leap in a career direction or a new home or a new country or whatever this new thing is that you need faith for. Also feel for some Virgos, this love thing is going to be about as you embrace that sense of self-love, you will attract a different kind of relationship or the relationship that you're in will transform or you will find new ways of just being at peace with yourself but really being at peace with yourself in that sense that there's no way you can possibly be lonely because there's so much going on inside you that fills you up. That's what you're coming to. You're coming to love which is perfect when the energy is all in Leo in that respect. So Virgos, I know you've had a tough time. I really, really do. And I know that not everyone knows just how much of a tough time you've had, but it's looking great. And it's looking great because you are able now, more than ever, to go inside and find those deep inner reserves, which was what you were being pulled towards the whole time, was to become this really powerful warrior of love and um, and to just allow that so this new evolution of who you are it's about yes i'm here to be of service but i'm also here to be to be happy and to be here of joyful service to allow the joy to infect others rather than to be infected in a way that makes me feel vulnerable to be infected you know being infected by pain to the point where you can't help yourself and you can't help anyone else it's about allowing yourself to gather all that strength from the inside like that you know building that fire like we were saying like that leo energy and really allowing it to shine through you you know from spirit and from you to shine through you out into the world rather than you having to sort of get drawn into those energies you know how to protect yourself now and you know how to make better choices so that's wonderful all right so advice and outcome angel of support so lean on the universe the universe has heard your prayer god has heard your prayers you know trust the help that's coming let go of the desired outcome and relax. Relax and trust. It's all already there with everything that you're planning. All the pieces are there. They are all just waiting for you to put them into place. Don't get distracted by anything um, you know, of a, of a challenging nature or anything that involves conflict or anything that draws you into separation ideas, you know, ideas of, of things being uh, you know, separate things being disjointed, things like um, difficulties in relationship, anything like that. Use your energy to focus inward now on what you want and on what you're trying to create. Now we've gone over time slightly, but I'm gonna just give you, I'm being told pink and I'm being drawn over here. I'm gonna give you um, an angel card because I feel that you need one. Okay, so we've got Oh, we've had this for someone else. You are a jewel, even though you may not see it. Even in the darkest times, you shine eternally bright. You are surrounded by an aura of love and a pot of gold. <laughs> not this one again. A pot of gold waits beyond the rainbow. All will clear soon. So that pot of gold be beyond the rainbow, I keep getting this one and I'm going to move it now um, because there is a picture of a leprechaun with a pot of gold 
as the thumbnail for my manifesting meditation and I keep getting pointed back to this. Anyway, all will be well soon, all will be clear soon. Trust and continue to follow your dreams. You are eternally blessed. Follow your dreams, Virgo, follow your dreams. Let's mix it in with all the other pinkies. Follow your dreams because you're on the right path and everything is manifesting perfectly for you. All of this sifting and sorting and all this nonsense that you've been through has been to get you to this point now where you can trust yourself, where you can learn to love yourself and let that love shine out into the world rather than coming from a place of pain and self-sacrifice, okay? All right, my lovely, have a great August and I'll speak to you again in September. Bye.